Time now for the Honda Sports Desk with ESPN 1063 and WPTV News Channel 5. Earlier today, the Forest Hill Falcons were in Lakeland looking to get one step closer to another state championship game. The Falcons came in as the number one overall seed in all of Class 7A. They took on Seminole High School this afternoon. Let's go ahead and head out to Lakeland. It was a very good start for Forest Hill in this ball game. They came out and shot the lights out. Troy Joseph is going to drain that three from way behind the arc. At the end of the first quarter, they were up 21 to 19. Second quarter, check out Michael Cooper in transition. Nice finish at the rim for the kid. The Falcons down by six. Second quarter was the turning point of this ball game. Seminole, they outscored Forest Hill 31 to 13, including this steal and bucket from Lander in Cleveland. He had himself a ball game. Moments later, he's running once again. This time, Cleveland not laying it up. He's throwing it down. Seminole defeats Forest Hill 80 to 59. Your final score after the game. We caught up with a very emotional head coach, Tony Watts. The group of guys that we have, and I, I like bragging about our team, is that these guys are actually friends off the court. And anytime you can build a relationship like these guys have built, um, there's a lot of hurt to see them hurt. So we, 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 we're very, very proud of the kids, but this is, at this point, it definitely hurts. All right.